I'm your host Salim bin Muhammad Rafi and this is my YouTube channel. Assalamu alaikum peace be upon all of the listeners and all of my followers and all subscribers. With a heavy heart I am talking to you about the third world war and madness on the part of various countries various head of the state. Unfortunately at the top of those the head of the state comes Joe Biden the president of the united states of america it has always been the americans who have invaded other countries it has always been the people who they gave birth to like israel like people who they supported always they supported the wrong side when they attacked the vietnam they supported the other side when they supported the north korea they supported south korea and attacked north korea and they left an army there same thing they did in middle east first they said the ambassador the female ambassador to the big bush or the senior bush or the one who had a hypothyroid less functioning thyroid and who would faint while he's talking and there was a god's curse on that man and his son who wanted to bench then he said that i am going to punish those people who fought against me so he was mentally retarded little midget and uh, he knew everything about the 911 who was behind that it had nothing to do with those people who attacked that all was the joint operation by carried out by both the mossad by cia and it was just to stop the rise of islam in the whole world all the hundreds and thousands of mosques islamic centers and then even england had to survive to borrow money from kuwait and had this underground and the infrastructure all prepared and updated bank of england had all most collapsed when you go back 40 50 years ago so has been the state of america unless america has been stealing has been robbing their gold their oil their gas and it was only way they kept themselves as rich is that by robbing the middle east and or the african countries they colonized them they bugged them they raped them they, they did every sort of atrocities and the steps were followed in their own steps by these zionist israelis and now see the extent of cruelty you would never seen in the whole world so many children killed in one war of any kind and you see the child killer nadanyahu and you know that why he did it is that the immunity these people and the, the in fact the the satan is the united states of america who gave his billions of dollars whose congress and senate is all paid puppies by apex and by various lobbying you know Jewish big businesses you know organizations associations societies and so in fact this is not a christian country it is a jewish country run in disguise and at the over the top of it to mask it is a sheep but wearing a wolf skin underneath it is a, either a wolf appearing a sheep skin or reverse it that's the way america has been a wolf but hiding behind a sheep skin and is this is this wolf who has bitten the whole world and destroyed the world peace even the first nukes were used by these so the whole world should be praying that they go into the deepest pits of hell and it's not the american people american people are just hostages whether they are latinos whether they are african americans whether they are asians japanese chinese koreans they are hostages they they just pass taxes as a you know herd of cattle and they they say it's like a cattle farm they pay taxes they they everything to support and raise this bully and this little puppy dog which is called israel and why should israel not be eliminated and destroyed and does not have the right to exist first the america in this present situation the way it is being run does not have the right to exist unless the people of america they have just like france they have a revolution and put all these you know under the guillotine and then and then alone there will be a democracy in the united states will be the american by the people for the people right with one vote you have to get rid of this 
all this present system of elections in a day, way that you would see that Trump was right to destroy the establishment, destroy the Pentagon, take the things in his own hand, and he was anti-war. He was uh, for all you know protection to come back into the United States of America. If he was not an immoral person, if his daughter had not married to a Jewish real estate man, if he had not committed himself and did the largest or the biggest sin in the whole world is that Abrahamic Accord of Tunnels, then maybe, maybe he is the one who will be uh, able to put the American on the right path. But unfortunately, both people at the top running either for the Democrats or the Republicans are these both. One is morally corrupt, the other is also morally corrupt. And he, he is the biggest liar. His son is, you know, that all kind of scandals. And this man is again another wolf wearing a sheepskin. It's called Joey Pardon. He is mentally not stable. With his age, he is suffering from dementia, almost very close to Alzheimer's. And she unfit to be in the White House, surrounded by 99% of the Jews. How would he be caring for the children who die in Gaza every day, who are being starved and drinking gutter water? All infrastructure destroyed, all hospitals destroyed, all universities destroyed, colleges, schools, roads, houses. How on earth can this man can live? He will go straight into hell. So would his wife kill. And she doesn't understand. She's a PhD, as a teacher herself and a mother. Why doesn't she strangulate him during the night and stop him doing this? Why doesn't Nathan Yahoo is just killed by and stopped by any good Palestinian? Because all the Jews there whose sons and daughters are being killed in the war, just unnecessarily, because there is no, absolutely nobody is going to win or defeat the Hamas, which is an ideology. No one has been able to kill an ideology anywhere in the world. And nobody is unable to, you know, win a war where there is a guerrilla war. So that's what's going to happen in the United States of America, unless the whole this peace system is demolished completely, completely demolished. And now the only one who can do this thing is that the Hezbollah is the one who is capable of destroying whole of Israel and occupying, and advancing from the north up to Tel Aviv and Haifa, and then coming from Elat and the. I think Houthis should come and they start it, you know, from there. And then Syrians and Russians and with the Egyptians and then people coming from all across the world, the volunteers, the Taliban's from, you know, the Afghanistan to come and attack from there and take the Golan Heights because you can look at Turkey even from those heights and they are Syrian. So should these get the sheep forms first. That will have a psychological effect on the Israel. You will see that the whole of the Jewish people who have dual, you know, nationality, they will exit. Already you see 80, 90 percent of the businessmen have gone or, you know, people who want to have their children to be educated and not serve in this diaper, you know, idea. The Kuruvalas, the people who wear bras, who wear bikinis, who wear menstrual pads, to mock at those Muslim and Palestinian women. God kill you and blind you, cripple you that you do this thing to women. You have your own mother, you have your own daughters, you own your sisters, you have your own wives. You should be damn ashamed of you. Nobody is proud of you and they spit on you. Nor you wonder why, you know, one black sheep can spoil the whole pond. So does the people sitting in the White House. They are destroying the whole pond. They are good Americans. They are God-fearing Americans. This is why you see the demonstrations in all the university campuses. You see the whole world, you know, them demonstrating against the war and they saying that have a ceasefire immediately. Free Palestine, free Gaza. Get out of that. Now you are committing yourself. And you all know that you are never ever going to either win in Ukraine nor you are going to ever win in the Middle East. So why go and destroy your own country with a nuclear war? And why to destroy the whole of the Middle East with your nuclear war? Why destroy even Israel? The, the few good Jews who could survive there, and many of them belong to the Orthodox one, who really practice Torah. If there is no Torah left in any ways, whatever little is left of it, because Talmud is not Torah. It is just a collection of 
all those rabbis lectures which each lecturer changed the little bit so it's a man made book it's not a divine book so with this little thing and a little clarity about this i will tell you how some of the good jews feel about it and how that is not anti semitism and how the whole world should get rid of these jews and then an american if you want to have peace to stand here today 8 months after this war started and to talk only about the jewish victims totally ignoring 38000 people who were killed in those 8 months totally ignoring the starvation the destruction the tens of thousands of children which were killed tells the whole story After this you almost don't need to continue because when you don't see the other when you victimizing yourself and totally ignore the other suffer the other agony then really we have no basis here Universal Television ko subscribe karna na bhule uske baad bell button pe click kare aur apne comments ke section mein apne king thi جو خیالات کا اظہار ضرور